All right, uh, now we're going to talk to uh, the doctor. Of course, we had some issues uh, earlier, but uh, we're talking about knowing how to identify if a stroke is happening or has happened. It can be life-saving, and of course, there are actually two types of strokes, as we mentioned, but one is more common. So we've got vascular and endovascular surgeons. So patient, Dr. Vernon Horst here with us. He joins us now live by FaceTime with more on how to identify this signs. So let's start there again. Tell us what a stroke actually is, what happens in your body when, when that happens. So a stroke is the, the uh, sudden um, uh, failure of, uh, or the sudden blockage of blood flow uh, to a portion of the brain. Um, and it's caused by either a, a buildup of, of a blockage plaque in the artery itself or the, uh, the mobilization of debris from one area of the body to, to the brain, usually coming from the heart manifested most commonly by the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T, and FAST is for facial droop, uh, is arm or for leg weakness, um, speech is difficult, is, or S for speech difficulty, and that's either understanding speech, written or oral, or the inability to provide, uh, to uh, to communicate, to speak with, with uh, uh, someone else. And T, if you have the first, uh, any or, or combination of the first three, Key is time to call 911 uh, to uh, get medical assistance. And uh, I know we talked about, uh, there, there we will be talking about two different kinds of strokes. Of course, there's an uh, ischemic, if I'm saying that correctly, stroke. Uh, can you talk about what causes that kind of stroke? So the ischemic stroke is um, usually from the, again, from the buildup of blockage in the artery uh, within the brain or the arteries going to the brain. Um, uh, and and the brain really suffering or infarcting actually and dying off uh, uh, brain cells dying from poor blood flow to the brain either again from blockage within the artery or debris coming, floating from the usually from the heart up to uh, the small arteries in the brain and then there's a hemorrhagic stroke yes the hemorrhagic stroke is what we what we uh, colloquially refer to as a brain bleed and that's usually from uh, from trauma um, uh, or a spontaneous rupture of an intracranial artery, such as a Barry aneurysm, um, and uh, so that that's a, a, a different uh, different kind of stroke there. Um, of course, uh, we usually hear of strokes happening in older people, um, but I do know that age doesn't always matter. I do have a friend, in fact, that had a stroke in her 20s. Uh, she's in her mid-30s now, but she had a stroke about 10 years ago in her 20s. Uh, can we talk about who is at risk for uh, an increased risk, rather, for having a stroke? Sure. Tobacco use uh, and other, uh, other, other illicit drug use is really the number one cause of ischemic stroke, tobacco abuse especially, as it contributes to buildup of, of plaque in, in the arm. It also leads to high blood pressure, which is a, another common cause of, of stroke, uh, severe high blood pressure, uncontrolled diabetes, um, and really the tobacco abuse can be all forms of tobacco abuse, uh, and whether it's smoking, smokeless tobacco, vaping, uh, a lot of people have sort of transitioned to vaping, that's really almost just as bad for us uh, as kind of your traditional cigarette. Other common causes, uh, again, obesity, and then are non-modifiable non factors such as age greater than 55, uh, African American race, and biological male gender. And uh, very quickly, doctor, uh, what can people do to prevent a stroke at, at this time, especially if they have uh, some of those things that you already mentioned? Sure, we want to modify our risk. So quit smoking uh, and, and quit uh, abusing tobacco in any way uh, that you're maybe using it. We want to uh, control our blood pressure, control our diabetes, um, and really uh, we, have, we have some medicines that we often start our patients on. Uh, talk with your doctor about whether, whether you should start taking a baby aspirin, uh, 81 milligram aspirin, uh, as well as uh, starting on statin therapy, which the statins are a, a kind of uh, cholesterol medicine that helps to lower cholesterol and has been proven to uh, have some cardiac and vascular protective benefits. All right, well, it's all duly noted. Thank you so much, Dr. Vernon Host, uh, Horst, that is, and uh, we appreciate you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll take a break.